Hey guys, this is Kronos 2.1 HD. This is a long-awaited upgrade to the Kronos 1.4 high-speed camera that started shipping in volume a little over a year and a half ago. This camera does 1080p at 1000 frames per second. Uh, it's exactly the same form factor as the Kronos 1.4 and will basically run the same software. I'll give you a quick overview of the camera after showing some demo shots. The camera I'm showing you here is still a prototype. The image quality will be improved before the final release. There's a little bit of vertical banding and some horizontal lines. Those will all be gone for the uh, final product release. Uh, if you want to see this camera in person, we're going to be at the National Association of Broadcasters trade show in Las Vegas from April 8th to 11th, 2019. So come check out, check out the Cron Technologies booth there. If you want to pre-order one of these cameras, these are launching right now as, the, as this uh, video is launched. Pricing is from $5,000, $6,000 depending on memory options. And there are 40 early bird units available. Those are estimated to ship mid to late summer this year. And if you don't get into that batch, uh, the main batch will ship uh, sometime in the fall. The Kronos 2.1 HD has two major upgrades compared to the Kronos 1.4. First is, of course, the image sensor. The 1.4 has a 1280 by 1024 2 thirds inch sensor, while the 2.1 HD has a 4 thirds inch 1080p 1000 image sensor. And for those of you curious, this sensor is the Lux 2100 from Luxima. The other major upgrade, based on customer feedback, is the LCD. The LCD on the 2.1 HD is three times brighter at uh, 1000 nits than the Kronos 1.4 LCD at 300 nits. This was a major customer complaint because in bright sunlight you just can't see the LCD on this one and this is no problem, this is directly visible outside. The sensor you're seeing here it doesn't produce quite the quality of images you'll see in the final production camera. Due to limitations in the capacity of the silicon fab and high lead times, uh, we weren't able to get the final production tw uh, Lux 2100 sensors in time. So the demos you've seen are actually taken on the Lux 8M, which is a basically identical sensor except it's 4K 250 frames per second. The demos you've seen from this camera are come from this sensor in a couple of different modes. The full resolution shots, like you see here, are taken in windowed mode, where the center portion of the sensor is used to read out at 1080p 1000 frames per second. And because the pixels are smaller, this results in a higher noise, but the resolution you're seeing is representative of what you'll get in the final camera. 
shots such as these ones were taken in binning mode where groups of four pixels are binned together to use the entire area of the sensor at 1080p uh, 1000. However, because of how this works, you don't get full resolution. If you, can, if you look closely, you can see it's a little bit sort of pixelated, but the readout noise is representative of the final production sensor. So you'll get the full resolution as shown in the earlier shot and the low noise like you're seeing in this shot here. Once the final production Lux 2100 sensors are in in about a month or so, I'll post an updated demo reel. Internally, this camera is pretty much identical to the Kronos 1.4. I'll just go over the differences uh, between the two models. I'll skip everything else, so if you actually want to see the full teardown, check out my original Kronos 1.4 teardown video card on the screen right now. biggest change is that the FFC connector connecting to the sensor board has been replaced with a mezzanine connector. It's a little bit finicky to get this cable out. There we go. Yeah, so on here on the 1.4 board there used to be an FFC connector that ran sort of in a U down to the sensor board that's been replaced with this mezzanine connector which is much much easier for assembly. This is still a prototype, so what you're seeing here is just built into a Kronos 1.4 case, uh, which has been machined out to accommodate the larger sensor. Other than the mezzanine connector, there are really no other changes to this board. It's pretty much identical to the 1.4 board. The sensor board is, of course, a complete relayout from scratch. The Lux 2100 is much, much larger than the Lux 1310 used on the Kronos 1.4. This board has gone from eight, uh, four layers up to 12. Uh, there's a lot of power supply rails in this sensor, uh, about something like 18 or 20 in total. There's a lot of more DACs and op amps that drive those. And there's a few layers dedicated just to the LVDS routing, which has to come out the bottom and go around the sides up to the mezzanine connector. Uh, the pre my preference would have been to turn the sensor upside down, but unfortunately there just isn't enough room. There is, it would hit the fan if we, if we did that, so it has to be mounted this way. The final cases, uh, CAD is shown here, those are uh, actually in machining right now, those are going to be coming in, so in about a month's time we'll be able to show, month or, month or two's time we'll be able to show the actual final production ready prototype. One other change required on this was better heat sinking from the FPGA. Because of the higher data rate going into RAM, uh, much more heat is generated, so the board was getting much hotter and causing the fun fan to run faster. And this block of metal conducts the heat through these thermal pads over to the case, and that stopped the fan from running so fast. That pretty much completes the overview and teardown of the Kronos 2.1. In other Kronos news, uh, some of you may have seen this tweet from April 1st. And it turns out this is not an April Fool's joke. This is actually a real thing. There's a card on the screen linking to a video about the Kronos Ring, which produces some absolutely amazing shots with a 48 camera bullet timer rig built out of Kronos 1.4, so go check that out. I hope you like this teardown and overview of the Kronos 2.1 HD. If you're interested in pre-ordering one, definitely check out our website. Thanks for watching!